Hello, uh, welcome to Royal Oak, our Calisthenics <gasps> Chronicles. Today, Zaina is joining us, Jennifer as well, who is expecting. So it's really nice that we just talked about it yesterday to get her on the video as well, uh, forever immortalized. Hola. We've Hello. got, yay, how are you? How are you? Good. Do you, you remember, remember me, Jennifer? <laughs> <here? laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I oh said I was, you were expecting, and she was like, "Oh, she's pregnant." <laughs> yes. Whoa. Yeah. First. Yeah. First. Oh, yeah. yeah. How? How far? Yeah. Uh, two more months. Oh, okay. Yeah. We just started with muscle up, warm up because the uh, human plank wasn't working. So if you want, well, maybe it's too high for you to do pull ups, but just yeah. saying, you don't have to do any of it. Uh, but we're doing that to get to human plank because my shoulders oh, yeah. feel really stiff and tight. So whenever I lose momentum, I always do a high pull to finish. So it's here. Yes. Then I know that like I can't go up, but I can at least do like an extra extra rep. I have this habit. I do one hand and then the other. I can't do both yet. I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Did you do CrossFit? Yes. That's why. Yeah. So try come down. There we go. And do another pull. One, two, three. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to do some pull-ups or is this too high? I can try, but I'm not sure with my um I'll muscle help you in into there. it. Oh right, okay. If I can do it. So let's try. I'll be right behind you. Do you want me to help you jump up? Yeah, sure. Yes. I I have a little bit of trouble with my hands. Doesn't matter. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. Uh, I've got taking my ear ears out so I can hear you when you have something to say to me. Do you want to drag him? There? Okay. Oh that's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yes, with the extra. But I, I'll baby remain weight. here if you need me, so because we look after our own. <laughs> no, I've been like a hawk. Okay, and she's loving like <laughs> comfort. Lovely. Like I've become so protective of her. Like I'm like, are you okay? Do you want me to pick that up for you? Well, I managed to do it with the muscle, so that's good. That's really good. If yeah. you want an extra band for the next one, yeah. that's totally fine. Like, that. that was good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Fantastic. Once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, that's cool. It's okay, I'll take one. Definitely, so that's how quickly I've lost it because this was a while ago now. Was this before Maldives or after when we were at Westfield? Yeah, after you came back. Okay, so that would have been like six weeks ago at least. Yeah. And I haven't tra uh, trained and worked on this regularly. Before that, I did like one session a week. And I was, the last time I did it, I was on one red band with three sets of three. So this is like, this is really important for the guys to listen to as well. Because there are guys going, oh, I learned this in three months. It is not like that for us, for women. No. Like our proportions are different. And these skills absolutely have to be stayed upon. So I'm struggling with a purple band today. It's not about the strength. It's about the, the conditioning of the skill. You have to, like Zaina said as well, you have to keep it active. Do you want to do another set of pull-ups with an extra band or? Uh, yeah. You're going to be flying. Oh, dude. <laughs> right? Yes. Calisthenics, should I have a bad day, let's say poor energy or something like that, then weights always help. But calisthenics is not going to go well and that's going to make my mood even worse. So on a bad, bad energy day, uh, Cali is not an option. Weights. So the gym will always be the best solution for me. For me. Same. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. handstands, I can't, I can't balance, balance. No. I can't focus. When you're playing, yeah, it's somewhere else, more no weight. Right? Yeah. yeah you need to so then focus. just give me can... like, oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> nice. Okay, that was easier than before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And back, straight in. Nice, nice, nice. Pull harder with your left arm. This is so good. Way better than before. So good. And straight in. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's much better. What are you listening to? <laughs> Hard style. <laughs> Is it new metal? It's Tell a us. <laughs> brain melt kind of music. No, it's it's really good. It's the remix to Blah Blah. I'm gonna need this one. Okay, I'll take three. I think I'm gonna bring my legs into it from the next set. I've uh, got it, but I'm yes. trying to do super strict. Okay. I'll bring the legs into it. That's gonna get me over the bar with the lighter band. Ah. 
Okay. A bit too much leg on that last one. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, that's amazing. Did you see how much higher I went on the yeah, first one? The legs. Immediately. Yes. So I need to bring the legs in. Yes. And this is why I think the Cali community needs to stop shaming people for using momentum and everything no, because it's like it. you're literally gatekeeping well, it and matter how you get there as long as you do it. So. It literally that's the end goal is the same. So as long as you're not breaking yourself while you're doing it, then it's fine. Beginners don't have to do strict anything. No. You're literally here to learn. Yeah. In, so yeah, like right? in CrossFit we learn the yeah. keeping before the strict. They say it's easier and you learn the strict from the keeping. The goal is to be super strict, but that's the goal exactly. at the end. Yes. We don't, none of us started out with like yeah, yeah. picture perfect step step, skills. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we can't say, no, you're doing it wrong. It's yeah. like, uh, it's There's so no wrong. Yeah. Don't worry about the bending the knees. Don't worry about the chicken wing. Like get your first reps in and then use that to become stronger and keep practicing. That's my last rep. Let's see. <laughs> oh my god. The way that just happened, I barely made it up top and my arms were like, you're done. You're done. Did you see that? Why? My biceps were like, we're out. Left the chat. So, let's do some rows. That was worth the wait. Yeah. That was alright. <laughs> I'm happy with that. <laughs> And then I couldn't hold myself anymore. That's okay, it's still, I did some rows. Yeah. That's 70 kilogram inverted single yeah. arm rows. Not that. many people do that. I know, right? So it's fine. <laughs> I'll omit the human flag for the rows. <laughs> oh, moving on. Step on here. Step on my leg. Oh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> she barely, just for the record, she barely used my leg. <laughs> That's sweet. I'm holding my See how you feel, because you can obviously tap out at any point. But this is like, pregnant women can. I don't want to hear anything about anybody. She's strong, she knows what she's doing. Nobody comments anything on anything. <laughs> yeah? Go slowly? Yeah. I'm just hovering. Take your time. There you go. She's been practicing this for years. Like, why would she suddenly lose it overnight? And I bet she feels lighter this way. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at that. Absolute powerhouse. This is my friend. I hope you're all very jealous. Oh, yes! That's so cool! How does that feel? Yeah, it's actually... Yeah. Do you feel lighter? Very light. Kicking now. Is he good? He's like, what are you doing? I love that. Cut it out. Should we do a couple of back bends uh, to warm up? because I need to hold yeah yeah you need to hold more with the arms yeah. so, shoulder oh, oh I'm sweating 
seat and sniff things. <laughs> I got up there, but as I was lowering, I was like, <laughs> I felt like I was gonna come down. Straight up. So Jennifer has to go. Do you have any words of encouragement for women in general who want to do calisthenics or especially for expectant mothers? Because I think that you're the perfect person to give your intel. Is there anything? I would say you can still do it even though you think you can't while being pregnant. Obviously things are a bit tougher and things feel a bit weird, but <laughs> you will get there. Just keep going to be fair. It's yeah. good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you, especially if you've already started the practice yeah. before, any kind of training, any kind of training. So obviously, are, don't start from scratch. Like yes, if you've never but, done it before, yeah. that's usually the only counter contraindication. Yeah. Don't try and learn a new sport because you might hurt yourself or anything. But if you're already conditioned, like physically and yeah. mentally, then yeah, you're just you're basically just carrying on what you've been doing, but you just get a tiny little bit heavier. Yeah. But then afterwards, getting back into it, it should be that much easier. This is so much fun yeah, today. Fun. So I will see you next week. Next week. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sweaty. Same. Um, <laughs> okay. Cool. Thank you for coming. Yeah. As well. you. Maybe I'll see you next with the baby. You never Probably, know. Probably, yeah. <laughs> That's so good. That's Couple so good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Right, see Bye. you next week. Bye. Nice. Nice. So I have to do a pullover into a... Uh oh. It will be great. Okay, so from here. It's good fun. Like a little centrifuge action. <laughs> I love it. My <laughs> So from here, we go up. And... <laughs> it's so much fun. But it is scary at first. Excellent, perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were higher. And <laughs> uh, Corey has some incredible insights. It's something my father always told me. I have to give him credit where it is, Glen King. But he always said to me, 
don't take from others what you don't desire. Yeah, yeah? It's I mean. very simple. You don't take from others. So for instance, I think I was explaining to you that me being in the field that I am, which is dance, yeah. I don't need... Looking absolutely incredible. A, a fitness fanatic, and, they, and not just a fanatic, a professional. He's yeah. a trained prof uh, personal PT. Yeah. So for me, it was, I know all my information is reliable. I know what I'm doing. But yeah. just because I look the part doesn't mean I should really jump on the bandwagon, go get my qualification. That's I'm fair. a choreographer slash creative yeah. director. That's all I need to be. Yeah. So I don't need to take from others what I don't desire. That's so noble. And yeah. we don't see that nowadays a lot. Because yeah, on social that. media, it's literally like everyone's trying to get their hands it's on true. all the pies. Yeah, it's what everybody, what, it's, it's the Gatekeeping, crazy, it? like, like oh, the don't jealousy. Don't do this. And it's, I know. Oh, and and I honest. think it's so sad. In calisthenics, it happens as well that like it used to be really popular that if I see you do a cool skill mm -hmm. then when I go and redo it or make it mine or whatever I still credit you in dance we call it biting oh I like that your movement and they don't really give it so just like I said the sentence before it came from my father That's so brilliant. the least you could do is name drop the person that you buy it from and I think in whatever That's profession beautiful. you do yeah it's critical yeah. for that thing to grow for us to know where we came from to know where we're going to yeah. so that means if you got inspired i think you did i saw you doing the victorian so i was like yo the backwards victorious <laughs> so i'm gonna cool. join in but i think again it's just don't take from others what you don't desire it's, it's very simple but believe it or not everyone does it so. that's so beautiful that's amazing cory thank, thank you, you so, so much, much. <laughs> just bring your friends with you 100 percent. like i know that i can't say the name of who this quote originally belongs to because of the bad publicity that this person has been subject to it says that if you're if you've been lucky enough to go to the like top floors send the elevator back down, down. Yeah. 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 yeah 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 that's what i like to give me goosebumps i believe in that like listen ladies I have so lovely, lovely to meet you, you. So that's, that's all right pleasure. we're probably yeah. heading out as well pleasure. you guys look after yourselves <laughs> you take care corey <laughs> there's actually a name for that crabs in the bucket really so oh. it is known that uh when crabs are being caught at sea, usually there's really like big barrels, there are no lids on them. So Why? Because the moment one starts climbing out, the others pull it back. Yes. And this is again goosebumps. That's how you look at like, like can you yeah. see that? Like people think that success is a big pie, that there's limited amounts of success. So they start holding others back until they get ahead, and then they're like, Yeah, sure, you can come. Or it's just like, let's say somebody's losing weight or starting to make more money. You know, when someone's losing weight, it's like, oh, wow, you know, you don't need to lose that much weight. So it's like, come join me here on this side where I don't have to do any work because you having done all that work actually exposes the desire that I have to be better and fitter, but I don't want to put in the effort or maybe I have failed many times and it would make me feel much better if you join me here rather than I join you over yeah, there. Yeah. So that's what we need to be careful of. So crabs in the bucket, it is, it's understandable why people who have made it big and then they say that I had to disappear for a bit. You do have to, sometimes you have yes. to lose friends and family as well because there will be naysayers, there will be people who put you down, they don't believe in you or they don't want you to make it. So sometimes the only way to make it is to actually just to go, I need a little bit of space, a little bit of time, and you're in your head, you can be as creative as you'd like, and no one's gonna say, what, is that what you're going to do? And then we get braver. And I think we were earlier talking about the, talking to the camera as well. Oh, yes. It gets easier the more you do it. And if you spend time around people who do that, yeah. it becomes second nature. Yeah, true. But if you're around people who are like, is that what you're doing? You're always, you're basically shamed into silence. So I like to have those thoughts because I very quickly nowadays identify those who shame me for who I am. And I'm like, I don't need to hear or see anymore. Like, that's the last time you have access to me. I mean, exactly. I think, Rahel, that will resonate with a lot of Mediterranean women Do you think as so? well. Oh, oh my God, I can really relate. My whole family is from the south of Italy. Mm. Yeah. So I can really relate to like that sense of like praising restraint. Mm. Oh yeah, you know the idea that restraint is something that you have to cultivate as a woman <gasps> because it's yeah. part of who you are in society. True. Being out there and putting yourself out there, people might be sneering. You know, like that can happen. And um, yeah, so you're kind of subtly and sometimes not so subtly actually <laughs> encouraged <laughs> to be compressed, to put yourself yeah. in that box. True. So people don't even have to go out out of their way to put you in that box. Mm. Because you oh yeah, to yourself. yourself. We were taught to play it small. Um, where yes. I'm from, you don't say good things about yourself. You wait until other people oh. say good things about you. The haters will never say a good thing about you. 
they will hold you back and they'll be like yeah go on keep trying and and that's all subconscious we don't know so we start to think that that's our like our self-esteem depends on that and so you have to get used to putting yourself like patting yourself on the shoulder and putting yourself out there your words of wisdom for anything to do training related women in training women in calisthenics um you know i try as much as i can especially in lebanon to um push women to be like to train to yeah. to get physical strength uh, not to be lazy to move yeah. because they feel like training is like it's not like it has to be lifestyle and they think it's not okay they feel like it's a job they have to do so i try as much as i can to motivate yeah to push them when 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 women come to me and tell me we need to look like you oh yeah i feel like and they think like it's easy and it's from one week to another they don't feel they don't think it's it's hard work like i work out six days a week every That's morning amazing. two hours yeah to to get to, to this uh, body yeah yeah and really you look to... absolutely fantastic <laughs> <laughs> that's so good no 100 percent. that's yeah. It's nice to know that you're also on a daily basis motivating others in yes. person and just yeah, yeah, definitely. and yes. and would you say that you've already changed quite a few lives yes. and oh my god yes yeah <laughs> yeah the messages I get you, you know I, I post every morning a picture in the gym yeah so the messages I get from this picture like you motivate us I feel like I want to go to the very gym. good I love it yeah and, you know, and the day I don't post they ask me yeah. <gasps> really yeah, that's me, fantastic to today, like, <laughs> it is the perfect motivation yeah, like it's a routine they gotta remember it's like it has to be lifestyle yeah it's not like i go to the gym once a week or just you know so good yeah. thank you so much girls thank this has you. been such an amazing session again so yeah, i'm so happy to see you again <laughs> nice to meet yeah. you happy a to lovely see you, you as well let's go nice and session. eat and uh yeah yes. i think it's just the perfect moment to take a little break yeah. <laughs>